Hello everyone, and welcome back to Dead Space 3. This is episode 8. Last time, a predictable betrayal took place on this very cliffside uh, with Jacob Danik and uh, the Unitologists revealing that Robert had led them to the planet. What a shocker! Um, and then, bullet in his brain and thrown off the cliff by yours truly and we we uh, we love to see it now we're gonna go tell ellie the good news and she'll be like oh my god thank you so much we're gonna reunite we're gonna we're gonna be a but we're back together again oh, relationship let's let's go and it's it's gonna be it's gonna be great so chapter 13 reach for the sky there you go on the cliffs of atlantis uh, start of a new chapter let's uh let's get into it and let's uh let's see how much fun we're gonna have with our with our lovely crew I just I just can't wait uh, we don't have any scavenger bots so I think I gotta wait to pick those up at a bench and we have to go that way so we've got a blueprint for HUN E1 Badger Thank you. let's open this guy up turn on some power nice and we've got a bench here. There you go. All sweet. All sweet. Uh, I might actually mess around. I might actually mess around with um, the new things that we've got. These in particular. Uh, so we've gone for a full... We are like doing full damage and our reload is pretty good. I reckon we could probably increase our clip though. But I want to do it in a way that doesn't destroy our damage. So, one damage, one clip. Let's see if we've got better than that. We've got two clip, minus one reload. Ooh, you can do that. But then the clip has hit a maximum, apparently. So, the clip does not actually go up. Now, hang on. I should be looking on the right hand side, shouldn't I, for the lower tool? Ah, this is actually fine. Ooh. Well, in that case, let's do that. Because the lower tool also has max damage. I think we're fine, actually, really. There's not, there's not much else. There's not much else that you can, that you can do. They're kind of as fast as possible. Yeah. Unless I start changing stuff up here, and that kind of messes with things a bit. You know what? It's perfectly fine. Look at them. Both max damage. Both have pretty much the same level of everything. So that's that's pretty chill. Um, maybe maybe it might be better to do anything on this potentially. Oh, we can get some more damage in. There you go. Look at that. That's what we want. Almost max damage on... Almost max damage as well. On the plasma cutter. I am perfectly fine with that. Yeah, I think we nailed it. There you go, perfect. Upgrade that a little bit. Tool around with it. And I got my scavenger bots. And this time... <laughs> this time I'll actually see if we can place them. There you go. You can place them in a decent spot. Unlike last time where I just kind of had to roll with it. Oh, we're close. I need to go around this corner. Hello, Carver. Oh, and the squad. Ready to deliver Ellie the great news? Robert! Isaac. Where's Robert? Is he... I shot him, Ellie. What? Context is important. Sorry. Context is important. Norton betrayed us, Ellie. He was ready to kill us. Thank I you. did what he had to do to save the mission. I... Oh, come on! We gotta keep moving. Now there are only four of us left! I can't do this! 
Then we leave you behind. If you can't keep your head, you're a danger to everybody. You are horrible! Nobody's leaving anybody. Now, come on. Let's get to the top of this mountain. Together. Together. How is that her breaking point? <laughs> we lost, objectively, the worst person in our group who didn't even want to come along. I'm, I'm a bit, I'm a bit confused. Ellie's reaction is uh, obviously completely understandable because they were, they were a thing. Like Isaac is useless at actually providing context. He's like, I shot him. That's my explanation. <laughs> and so Carver has to actually step in and be like, well, I mean, he did betray us. Just FYI. So that's actually kind of why. Just so you know, <laughs> you know, like it's, it's, it's so silly. And then like Robert was against the whole thing the whole time being a little whingy baby, uh, and also like responsible for having the unitologist on our tail, having him dealt with is a positive thing for the group. And he's like, I can't do this. There's only four of us left. It's like, we had much, much less of a chance of succeeding with the dude on our team who was a traitor and a, and a big butthole, you know? Ellie, Ellie's reaction is fine because Isaac handled that incredibly poorly. Um, but yeah, <laughs> honestly, man, <laughs> what would we do without Carver, who just straight up chilling? Oh shit! This is how we scale the cliffs, right? Right on. Oh, that's so sick. Um, am I doing this on my? <clears throat> am I doing this on my own, guys? We're gonna start an avalanche if we all try to climb this. What do we do? I'll climb up first and have a look around. Maybe there's a safer route. Nice. Alright, Isaac scouts ahead first. This is cool. Oh god. Uh, oh god. Oh, I'm supposed to jump off of the ground at that point. I was like, it, it wasn't really communicating. I was like, I was, I'm was. i also expecting stuff to come from uh, above. So I didn't expect the... I'm taking damage doing this. Meanwhile, I'm just trying to avoid. <laughs> Do you know what's so fucking funny about that is like, um, Isaac is legitimately taking damage from a hole in the cliff. He's taking damage from a hole in the cliff. Like. <laughs> I had to get out of there because I couldn't go up normally. Um, so I got stuck on the side. Seeing a hole in the floor, a hole in the wall, in the cliff face, doing damage to me, I just think is so funny. It's like, ah! We're gonna start an avalanche. Uneven, to uneven climb. cliff face. What I'm taking damage. I'll climb up first and have a look around. Maybe there's a safer route. Okay. And now I just need to avoid the. F there you go. Now I just avoid that. Oh, I guess there's some spikes. There you go. It's a. There you go. You can see it's a little bit rugged. Didn't really have a choice there where I could <laughs> can go to, but that's fine. Uh, all right. The the spiky the spiky cliffside doing it for me. Makes sense. You got this, Isaac. Ain't no thing. You, I believe. Okay. Nice. And another side. So I guess there's obviously one each for the whole co-op thing. For the whole co-op scenario. That's awesome. This is probably the most boring rappel, uh, rappel section ever. <laughs> like, there's the occasional rock fall, and, uh, you know, you gotta watch out for the floor breaking apart. Uh, there's not really any music, or... This is a perfect moment for exposition, guys. This is a perfect moment for character interaction and dialogue. Because we are just walking up a cliff. It's the perfect moment to have some audio happening. Maybe Ellie talking to Isaac about what just happened. 
uh, airing out her feelings about it, you know, getting to actually know the characters that are in the game in this storyline, so you can have an attachment to them. All three of those characters can talk to Isaac. Ellie, come on. Norton was pointing a gun at my face. I'm sorry. Is that supposed to make it okay? You never believed in me. Or what? The mission, or us. I had to go find someone else to help me, and now he's dead. He sabotaged it. Just like everything else. What's that supposed to mean? Is that what you really think? Yes. They brought you here at gunpoint. I guess that's what it took. I'm not here because someone put a gun to my head. Yeah, well, Norton's dead because someone put one to his. There you go. We only get it when we're like not ascending the cliff though and like to talk about that is like yeah sure we we were staying in the apartment to get away from it all who wouldn't with what isaac has with uh with what isaac has been through with what he's had to deal with as a character over the past two games who wouldn't be like fuck it man i'm gonna go chill out in my little space apartment and hide away from the world you would you wouldn't actively go hell yeah dude i'm gonna jump right back into the mess isaac has a very reasonable uh, explanation for doing what he wants to do and then he gets into this scenario and then as soon as he's here he's he's focused on doing what he's supposed to do he'll he's he cares about Ellie and he's like oh we'll get this mission done we'll work together to do it and the only person who was being the the shithead about it and complaining was Robert he was like cool. oh we're going back home and I'm doing the thing we got this shuttle cool we're getting out of here like he was jeopardizing the mission from the from the very beginning he only wanted to get alien leave straight away um and it's just it's just so silly for her to be like throwing that shit around Gr grief does this though it hazes you um but at the same time um <laughs> objectively looking at it which is probably not really uh, reasonable for her character right now in her emotional state is just going to be like isaac you're trash <laughs> because you killed him and she d doesn't really understand at this point in time that it's like it was either him or or Isaac and Isaac is your chance of succeeding in this mission, you know? But yeah, this sort of exposition, this character interaction and dialogue, perfect to throw at you when you're just climbing up a cliff with not much happening. Um, but I mean, we at least we got something. I was waiting for it. <laughs> We just need to see if Ellie uh, comes back from comes back from it and uh, focuses up. Um, I'm sure there's, I'm sure you could probably let them know that it's good for them to scale the cliff now. Otherwise, they're gonna get too far behind. One at a time as well, so it's even slower, guys. What is this? Wow, a ladder. I guess maybe we'll get in here and Isaac will say, all right, I'm chill now. You guys can come in. Or not. I guess we'll just do this on our own. Get out of there. Tungsten, baby. What can I hear? I can hear, like, someone ice picking. the fuck? Is that an actual person? Or is that a necromorph on autopilot? Hello? Ah, oh, yeah, what the- Oh, it's trying to- it's fucking 127 hours! Okay. <laughs> Alright, James Franco. Oh! Oh fuck me. Nice dude. I love that he's just been like hacking at his fucking leg for like ever. We good everyone? Can we, can we, is, is that is that better now? Everyone's got their oh nope. Like has everyone got their feelings out? Ah, woo <laughs> woo Yep. Oh, some time alone, huh? 
fuck off. Just when you think it's over. They call you for round two. Come on, mate. Oh my fucking god! They they speak. Oh my god! That took me so off guard, dude. I didn't realize that they actually spoke. Isaac, you got friends, you know. You could be like, "Hey, get up here!" <laughs> wow. Every time I was convinced that there was no more enemies. There was one literally just right behind me. That, the one speaking was just, that was something else. Okay, they speak. Oh, they tried to. Holy shit, man. They did this, they did the scary thing. Beautiful views, baby. Guys, I found a cargo cage, but it's oh. wedged into the cliff. I'll try to free it and send it down. Oh. Ellie, you hear me? We see it. Come on, Ellie. How do you see it? What? You can't see shit in this in this blizzard. What the fuck? Good eyesight, I guess. Better than me. Cage is on its way now. Ellie, can you see it? Ellie. Oh God! Look out! That's us! Get behind me! Ah! Shit! Try to drive it away! Ellie! Ah. Ellie! Ellie! Ah. Ellie! Hello! Ah. Okay. Well, I guess we'll bring the lift up and we'll see what happens. <laughs> The lift looks unstable, but it may be the only way of getting Ellie and Santos to the research facility. The controls to operate the lift must be nearby. Ah, yes, Ellie and Santos, because fuck Carver. <laughs> we just for forget about him. We don't need to get him up. No. Hmm. 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 Ah! Is there just an endless amount of these bad boys? Jesus. Meanwhile, Ellie and the crew are dead. Because we took too long. Getting our shit messed up by necromorphs. Controls be like close to the lift. Are we about? Are we getting attacked while? Yep, we are. What the? Why is that? Me jumping in? Oh, yeah. Come on, Isaac. Oh, the timing of that rock. Comedy. Is there one behind? I can't shoot behind, so I guess I don't. Oh. Oh, my perspective right now. I'm just like trying to fucking play the game like this. I hate that it's on an angle. So hard to look at. <laughs> 
There we go. Isaac, we're okay. We drove it off. Oh, thank God. Look, about Robert. I just don't understand why he would try to kill you. He blamed me for all the trouble we're in. He kept pushing to go home. I kept pushing to stay. But the mission is all that matters. I thought Robert understood that. I'm here for you. I mean that. Bruh, this is like the classic like sci-fi shit where all the characters have like the lowest IQ. Like, this is why we get into this trouble in the first place. In any sci-fi horror scenario, all the characters are stupid. They're like, oh, this guy's really sick, man. He ate black goo and then something like fucking crawled on his face, man. We gotta get him inside the ship with all you guys to the medical bay. It's like, no, we have to do quarantine laws. No, fuck the quarantine laws. Bring him in! I'm overriding your decision! And then they bring him in, and everybody dies. This is, it's like, everyone's like, dumb. <laughs> I thought Robert understood the mission, even though at every given opportunity he's like, I want to go home. <laughs> what the fuck? Come on, guys. Come on! You gotta, you, you don't even, you don't even know your own boyfriend. Look at these frozen bad boys. There's no way to go. These guys literally were just, they just went, sitting in a tent. They just accepted their fate. They're like, fuck, we're gone. We're gone. Should have, should have worn helmets. Should have worn helmets. Oh, no. Oh, yep. I was like, how will I know that they're going to come from behind, dude? Definitely one of my least favorite necromorphs. Explodey boy. Nice. Artifact discovered. Personal log of Dr. Ramsey Bergerak. The soldiers at base camp have taken a calling at the Snow Beast, like it was some sort of modern day yeti. The eyewitness descriptions match very closely to those of a frozen creature we found at the Facility 1 dig site and another we are piecing together at Facility 2 up on the mountain. It's a curious crustacean, something I'd expect to find on a deep sea expedition rather than a trek through a frozen waste. How this one survived where the others did not proves it has a great deal of resilience. If we are going to learn anything about these ancient beings, I must get a closer look. I think it's talking about the one that we've come up against twice now. Uh, also, I'm not sure what we just picked up. I thought so. I thought the icon was familiar. We picked up a third scavenger bot, dude. Hell yeah. More, more resources, please. Right, where are we putting you? Down here somewhere. Hell yeah. Alright, let's move on. We're running out of ammo. We're at, this is like one of the first times where I'm like, well, we're not running out, but this is the first time. This is the, this is the lowest that we've been in terms of ammo. Okay. I found another lift point. Still no witch. You guys alright? So far. We're just at the cage. It's infested pretty bad up here. I hope I find a way soon. Isaac. Just be careful. 
I don't need to lose both you and Robert in the same day. Thanks, Ellie. Thanks, Ellie. I'll always be here for you, babe. You know I would kill for you? <laughs> Fuck, like, I already did, so... You just know how it be, babe. Alright, we got 60 ration seals, you know what that means? I can buy another one of those super mega awesome things from the microtransaction store. Thank you, EA. Hell yeah. Um, except for the fact that... Uh, I also... Um... Oh, I can craft ammo. Oh, you can just fucking craft ammo with... You can just craft ammo with scrap metal. No worries, dude. No worries whatsoever. Worried? Not me. Now I can just craft shit with somatic gel as well because I've already gotten full health. It ain't no thing. I don't know anything. Actually, I'll sell those stasis things. So I like to sell two. And I keep three. And I never use them. Because I don't really... I use stasis much unless I'm near a recharge thing anyway. So it's fine. Would it come in handy to use more often? Probably. But I make do. I'm, I'm sufficient. Alright. More rappelling. More stasis... More stasis packs. Three stasis packs. I just ditched them, and the game went, I know you just sold them. How about we give them back to you now, and not any ammunition. You can just, you can just create those. The game just really stopped giving us ammo. And went here. Have stasis. I don't want it. No thanks. I'm fine. So we're going to rappel up even further, and then I guess we'll just bring the lift all the way to the top once we get to the end and do all of the work ourselves, because that is... That's how it works, baby. Huh, unless you play in co-op. Oh, well this is the worst. There you go, we've got to go all the way over here. Off to a bad start already. Oh... That's why we got given three stasis things. That's cool. Ah! <laughs> I didn't notice the other one on the left. I was like, fuck, my ears, bro. It's crunchy. It's crunchy down here, I don't like it. All right, so we've, we've got three stasis packs, so we're already fine. I don't need six, but there you go. I had a feeling there might have been a reason. And that's why. Alright. That's neat. I like that. And then there's another... Alright, Isaac. Sure. Uh... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Isaac, why won't you go over the other side, dude? It is what it is. Rock in a hard place, literally. This is... yeah. This is the epitome of being between a rock and a hard place. It's no better part. It's no better. It's no better saying. All right. So apparently, I was just must have just been clipping the edge. So that's fun. You know what? I might even be able to get away with not even using stasis on this one. Incorrect. Incorrect. <laughs> I was not able to get away with not using stasis on that one. Maybe if I was a little more daring, I'd be able to do it, but, uh, alright. I'll play your game. I'll play your game. Isaac is not very good at setting this cliff. It's all Isaac's fault. Off you go. Okay, why are you useless? Please, dude. Okay, I got it the first time, so I'm, I'm confused. I am holding down the button, because you're supposed to hold it down for a big old jump. But he just says, no. It's almost easier to jump over the other side uh, when your rappel is on this side. As soon as I switched over to this side, he was like, no. Nah. How interesting is that? He's just not very good at jumping over a cliff. All right, so here we go. All right. Look at that. Like, we're, we're next to it. So let's jump. 
Isaac. Isaac. Why why can't I why can't I do it? Oh. Now you can do it. Right as you die. He did it with no with no problem that time. I'm going over this side. I feel like this is the side. This is the better one. <laughs> this is this is the one. Cause then it's like the game makes it easier for you to jump to the side that your repel is on, which means we'll just struggle on probably on the next jump. So here we go, we'll go up here. Alright, and then we're gonna jump. No problem, because the raffle is on that side. Now we're gonna do this, and uh oh shit, that's gonna take a long time. Slow both of them. Oh shit, there's one coming from the top. Now we're gonna jump. Oh look, we're gonna struggle, you know why? Because the repel is on the left hand side. And now we're gonna get smacked. Video games. I love video games. So, the situation we find ourselves in is the side that you repel will be the side that it's easier to jump to. We've confirmed that much through numerous trial and error. And then, when you want to jump over to the side, the opposite side, you will have a hard time. <laughs> Because it's almost as if the game just doesn't want you to be able to do that. Even though you have to. So, this is going to be fun. Jumps over to my own side without issue. But now, we have another problem. And that is going over this side, so... Thank you, oh my god. Hell yeah. Quick, Isaac. Dude, cool, dude, go. Up. Up. Okay, I think we've got it. We're good. Nothing can ruin this day. Perfect. First try. Yeah, you better save my progress after that, bro. First try. Ow. Oh, mate. Oh, mate. Oh, mate. You know what, dude? You know what, guys? Leave me alone. Please. Yeah. It's taken me... Uh, it's taken me this long. I'll be honest with you, it's taken me this long to realize that that sound that I'm hearing, that little wub wub noise, is not items nearby. Which is why I kept getting confused and looking for items. It's literally without pulling the scanner out for the scavenger bots it's how you know that you're on a cool spot for items okay that's either above or below us so when you hear the wub wub that's actually for the scavenger bot the more you know I probably misread a note somewhere it is what it is I found the winch I'm going to start it up. Okay. We'll leave it. Hang on to something. Wait. I don't like this. Just talk to me. And don't look down. What's our next step? Well, we now know that in order to turn off the machine, we'll need some sort of key. The researchers called it the Codex. Okay. So where is it? We have to make one. And how do we do that? The same way they did 200 years ago. With Rosetta's research. Oh my god! Take it easy, take it easy. Just blown a fuse. Maybe I can divert power from the lights. Oh, nice. 
Oh, okay. So, tell me about this, Rosetta. Well, we don't know much. Just that the Codex was made from her research. Where will we find it? In the facility at the top of this mountain. Great. See? We're almost done. Perfect. Oh, the lift was right there. You're taking too long. You're taking too long. Something's gonna happen. You're taking too long. <laughs> You're taking too long on the lift. It's gonna break. some solid ground under my Take us all down with it. I think the cliff's falling apart. Come on, damn it, give me your hand. I promised her. I could have reached her, but just had another second. I am so not surprised about anything that is transpiring. Like, bruh. Isaac forgets he has stasis for the whole scene. He's like, wait, I can slow things down if I wanted to. Isaac! Scott, Ellie. Isaac, it was pulling the whole cliff down. You couldn't have saved her. Can what? <laughs> yeah, I think there's a way up around the side. Oh shit, wait a minute, guys. My suit. I have an ability to literally halt time and slow it down. You're like, oh shit. A giant monster that's like, Clawing apart this like elevator. Holy shit. Stasis. Done. Oh no. The winch. We need to hold it. Otherwise it's going to spin around. Oh, I know. Stasis. Shit. And now it's slowed in place. So my hands are free to grab Santos. Oh, what's this ability I have? Kinesis? I can like tele... Use telekinesis? So I could, like, grab her if I really wanted to, because we can hold corpses with it. Stasis. Kinesis. If you're gonna put a scene in your game, you have to make it make, it make sense with the abilities that your character has. With things that are established. You can't have a scene go on for that long and be that predictable and to completely ignore that we are in game three with these abilities and Isaac just goes, no, I can reach you and do nothing about it. You know, I think that is incredibly silly and so predictable. As soon as she was the only one on the lift, I'm like, we're falling into, we're falling into sci-fi horror movie trope territory now. Like the ones that get like five out of 10 ratings. We're falling into trope territory. And now we fight the giant beast again. <laughs> again. <laughs> Alright, boy. Oh, what? Is this an ability that we've had for the whole time that is confirmed to work on you? You know how you can you know how you can work around it, dude? You know how you can work around this? You make it immune to stasis. You make it immune to stasis. Hey, use that generator to get those harpoons working. That's how you that's how you work around it. You you be like, oh no, it's an ancient being and it's actually immune to the whole stasis bullshit. And then you can write that scene successfully. Because then it uh it allows itself to be a way that, you know, 
isn't a fucking problem. You're done by now, bud. Again, we have another round. Another round of the old dead space. There you go. Oh, shit. I'm a bit too close for comfort there, mate. Just re rinse repeating? What, what, what are you doing here? Kava said something about we said something about grappling hooks, but like that's for Kava to do, right? Wait, are we just are we just stolen? What's going on here? I'm out of health. I'm out of stasis. Like we like, how long is this fight going on? No, I'm, now I'm stuck. How long is this fight going on for, dude? What the fuck? What the hell's going on? Now I'm dead. How long is this fight going on for? What the fuck? Jesus. What did, so what does Isaac say about the grappling hooks? Am I supposed to be doing something in this myself? Because this is busted, man. Oh, there you go. Okay, use that generator. I thought that for some reason I, we were telling Carver to use a generator to get the harpoon working, and we were like waiting for him to do something. Miscommunication. So you do this, then it comes out with the whole thing, gets a bit stunned, and then I quickly do this. Alright, Alpoon. Try to lure him to those tracking lasers! Oh nice. Use the torque control! Quick, he's gonna break free! Huh? Uh use the torque controls. Dude, what? Wait, it said crank available, and it wouldn't let me do anything with it. What the fuck? Come on, in you come. Okay. Oh. <laughs> right there. Rip it apart! Rip it apart! Yes! Oh no. Wait. No. Are you dead? Are you dead? Okay. I was like, as soon as the achievement pops up that says Hydra, I was like, oh no. Chop its head off, two more will take its place. I was waiting for it to be split in half and then to just completely regenerate and then there would have been two of them. God damn. Well, that was fun.
I'm not quite convinced that it's the end of that thing. I would like, I would like it to be. <laughs> I would like it to be. All right, we uh, at least we we got it properly the second time. So I just totally misheard the uh, the first time, and I was for some reason assuming that it was more like a race against time, and I just had to wait for uh, wait for Carver to do something, and then he'd be like, "Quick, do this!" But there you go. <laughs> and now we go up. There's just two convenient. Two convenient harpoons here, facing each other on the cliff. Isn't that nice? That's great. I wonder why specifically there are grappling hooks at that part of the... the area. So we lost Santos. So we lost our scientist, who was the, sm the smart one at figuring all this out. So that's cool. Oh shit. Right. Yep, that's a thing. The floor. Yep, that's also a thing. Grappling. Like, I'm not crazy, right? This game just doesn't... Just doesn't let you jump over the other side. Alright, well there you go. I guess we just crawl over. I didn't see that little spot, but still, it feels like it's like such a small margin. Oh look, there she is, just chilling. Hey, it's all right. You're a good man, Isaac. You did everything you could. The change up. No, I didn't. I gave up, Ellie. I'm so sorry. This must be the place. But how the hell do we find this Rosetta? She must have a lab up there someplace. We should look for an office or a set of files, anything with her name on it. We can take that to the entrance. Come on. <laughs> Whoever wrote this script, like, forgot what happened only five, ten minutes ago. <laughs> You did everything you could. I gave up. It's like, no, you didn't, Isaac. You literally kept trying the whole time. No part of you gave up. Carver cut the elevator winch. <laughs> you didn't give up, dude. Like, what? Somebody wrote, was like, wrote this script, and then they took, like, maybe, like, a few months break, and then they came back, and then they're like, oh, where were we up to in the script? Oh, yeah, this place. And they missed it, a whole bunch of details. Uh, remember when Ellie hated us five minutes ago, too? Now she's like, <laughs> "Bruh, I was really, on, I was really on board for like uh, everything that was going on in terms of the story. I thought it was wicked, and then we just, we somehow we just landed in horror movie tropes, and that's so unfortunate. Uh, hopefully, we can still get some good stuff going on. Um, I'm not obviously calling it a disaster yet. We're just in a in a bit of a low period of uh, of good storytelling." Unfortunately. Right? Yeah, I'll be fine. You go on ahead. I don't know. I'll shoot directions to your rig. We'll meet at the facility. I don't know. Be careful. You might, might, next time we're reunited with Ellie, she might be she might be dating Carver now. Uh, for a, a change of relationship, because you need that relationship drama, even if it don't make sense. <laughs> we go up, he's like, sorry Isaac, it took so long. Isaac, we are no longer together again. I'm with Carver now, because we spent some time together, we, we really hit it off up here, you know? <sighs> Scavenger bot can fit in up here. Oh, bro. Why? Oh, actually, hang on. Nope, it is. Is it up there or is it in? Yeah, yeah, yeah cool. Yeah, it's un we're in an unfortunate little segment of the game where it's it's uh, yeah, it is what it is. We'll see if it improves. But I've said all I have to really say about it without like repeating myself. There, I guess it's just 
that's where that's where we're at we'll write it out and we'll see if it improves or if it continues I guess we'll just we'll just wait and see I guess definitely curious to see how it'll go I'm more f I'm also fascinated with the events of the game outside of the characters um, just to see how this is gonna like wrap up with the whole marker homeworld thing and Rosetta and this like the the study that's taken place that could potentially lead us to ending this once and for all uh, that's really cool so we're at the science division facility Ooh, new enemy type just dropped. It's got a flashlight on its head. That door is locked. Oh, is this going to be like a co-op deal? No, it's just locked. I was like, is that going to be a co-op mission? It ain't. Whoa, dude. Wow. Holy shit. That planet. What planet cracking does to a motherfucker? <gasps> Bro, there's a marker. Oh, dude, wait. There's just marker shit going on everywhere. Wow. Totally blends in as just mountain spikes in the dark, but there's there's fucking marker shit everywhere. Isaac's about to. I've, I'm actually surprised Isaac hasn't had more uh, marker-related hallucinations uh, during this game. We've had. One when we read the turn it off message, and then we had another one recently, um, and that's been it, which is actually quite surprising. They did away with Isaac's kind of like mental instability. He's been mostly pretty well kept together for for most of the game. He's been way more level headed than most people, which is very interesting. What kind of meds is this boy taking? Because it's working. Alright, where's that new enemy type? They just dropped it in just as a... Oh, unitologists. Heads up. Looks like Danica's had time to regroup. Damn it. How do we find Rosetta if she's been dead for 200 years? Head in the jaw. There. Rosetta Lab. It's here. Perfect. Send me the coordinates. Now let's hope Danik doesn't find us before we can build this codex. Head in the jaw, I'm calling it. Paleontology, biology, geology, and the silo. The site map. Nice. Where are we? What's the what's the red symbol? Are we at paleontology? No, we're at biology. And now we just need to they're looking to add a new site to the map. Unitology. There's so much cover. Like as if we we're supposed to be doing a whole cover shooter thing. So you can even get in cover. Makes me wonder if there's gonna be enemies that are gonna pop up at some point. Ah, oh, here we go. It's almost like set up like this. So, there's a text log there for us. Oh, it's a blueprint. Seeker rifle. So we'll try and activate this door and then there'll be a bunch of enemies that'll come up behind us. Maybe. Unless the, the all the cover is just there for no reason or it'll eventually have a reason for being. Let me in, please. Maybe when we like leave, unitologists will be there waiting for us. Okay. <laughs> okay. The biology sector. Oh, they're possessing things again. Look at them go, possessing things again. God damn it. Cool. Oh! And you're in half. Dude, I love it how they're speaking. Sick. The 
the way that they run away, dude? Oh. <laughs> Dude, these are fucked. They're so much stronger. Holy shit. Wow. They're so much stronger. Nice. Okay. Welder's compact frame. Upper tool only frame with built in upgrades. Right. We got a lot of we got a lot of shit going on. We got a lot of shit going on. Uh, we need safety guard. Increase clip size instead of a scope. Might go for that. Give me some more. Give me more clip size. That's cool. Everything else about this I'm pretty fine with. Um, we got plus two damage, plus rate of fire. I think that's probably going to be better on the the other tip. Because so I think our rate of fire is uh, probably as good as it's going to get. I'm going to take our clip down quite a bit though. I almost think that they're, our things are probably as good as it's going to get, mostly. We can always make some more weapons, but I don't really feel like we need to. I mean, we're, we're, doing, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good with the weapons that we have. Uh, let's see what upgrades we can get, though. The Legionary suit has been unlocked. Decommissioned military armor worn by 23rd century scaf forces, this bulky suit is highly valued by collectors and historians. Okay. Uh, does it protect against the cold? Let's see what it looks like. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 -do. He turns around before you get a helmet reveal. It's really strange sometimes. You don't get like the full look because it cuts you off. Um, again, air has just not been a problem. So, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> I don't, I don't care about I don't care about air because it just hasn't come up. We'll increase the duration. This will increase the recharge. And then this the range, why not? Alright, we need more transducer. Transducer. That's pretty good on the upgrade, so. Yeah, I wonder if it protects against the cold. I mean, it might because there's no holes in the suit anymore. Maybe that'll be that'll be pretty chill. Uh, all right, we need a we need another key card to get in. Damn, co-op mission in storage. That sucks. That sucks. That goes through the geology. Right, looks like we're pushing straight through the lift. Uh, so it gave us a hint at like an enemy or something um, when we very first entered the area, and then it disappeared through a disappeared through a part down a rock, and then we just, I thought we were like we would have gotten an introduction around that time, but we just didn't. So maybe that'll come maybe that'll come in later. Or maybe that's the enemies that have currently been going up against or something. And it just 
didn't make a big deal out of it. So inconspicuous, I can't see what the hell's going on in any of those rooms. Decontamination protocol. Decontamination. Please hold still. Oh, what's up? Oh wow. Wow, so this is Rosetta's lab, huh? Oh, finally. She was just like me. Crazy. And this is an assembly station, according to the controls. So we're here to assemble a codex. That makes sense. Uh no. According to this, we're here to assemble Rosetta. They cut her into pieces? Oh my god. Fuck this day. They sliced her up. Why? I don't know. But some of the pieces are already in the assembly. I think I see another piece over there. Bruh. It's the main menu, dude. These are th these are this is the shit in the main menu when we're like selecting options and it's like moving shit around and it's like fucking pieces in. Uh, so Rosetta is not a human. <laughs> Rosetta is actually a fucking thing, right? Correct. I'm not misinterpreting this, right? Rosetta is not actually a fucking person. It's a fucking. What the hell do we do with it? Well, there should be a receptacle that feeds that into the lab's cataloging system. Yep, over there. Whoa. Okay, let me see if I can feed it in. Great. Okay, I'll see if I can route that to the assembly station. Hold on. Yeah, it's the fucking main menu, dude. Damn. How about that? So, according to the records, there are four more pieces. They were checked out of storage by Dr. Serrano. Well, there are three buildings in the facility, so if there are more pieces, they're either in one or all of them. Most of the doors were locked down from what I could see. Yeah, well, you're in luck. Look what I found. A security pass. Let me get to my girlfriend. You wanna give it a shot? Bruh. Otherwise we're gonna fight. <laughs> oh, alright. We're not allowed any physical contact, I see. I'll get it through the receptacle. Great, That's fine. Find out what you can about how assembling Rosetta <laughs> will create a codex. I'll explore the labs and recover the rest of the Rosetta slabs. Why does Carver have to have the most badass fucking suit that we've ever seen? So cool, man. Uh, so none of, none of you guys walked in here and really questioned the fucking environment and the fact that there's just bloody handprints all over the place and bloody footprints and no nothing, no not raising any question marks, no, no concerns, everything's fine. Just assemble the fucking frozen monster and just move on with our lives, I guess. Yeah, no shit. Okay. Uh, we're going to move into the other parts of the facility to get the other frozen parts because Dr. Serrano said you have to go and find these pieces separately instead of it being conveniently placed because you're playing a video game. Fuck you. <laughs> and then we're going to put it together and then... And, and then... And then something, I guess. Assemble Rosetta and then uh, find out what's next. What what other answers we have? It looks like there are three primary buildings in this facility. The one we're in now is biology. There's one for paleontology and one for geological studies. Which one should I check out first? It doesn't matter. Just be careful. <laughs> Why? You think there's something out there that wants to eat me? That's not funny. I know. Isaac out. There's always something out there that wants to eat you, Isaac. So, we going to geology or paleontology first? We'll get this scavenger bot back. We'll get the, my scavenger boy. So I guess this would be when you put it down. 
maybe when you when you put it down or when you uh, meet it at the bench that's when um, the bot will have like a personality because you do the whole personality thing the store loaded instantly for a change which is really strange I did not expect that uh, well, I think we just got a duplicate that we already had good old loot boxes and then mark 5 stasis coding there you go oh look it's behaving today um, we got new stuff. I think that's our second. yeah, that is our second one of the incendiary grenades. That is unfortunate. How unfortunate. I want a Mark V directed suspension field, because that's a rocket launcher. That's a rocket launcher. <laughs> if I could have a Mark V version of that, that would be sick. Mark V stasis coding. Oh, nice. Well, we'll equip that one. There you go. That's better, at least. And then we got more... Uh, more materials, once again. So, I think that gives us a decent amount of stuff to, like... Stock up on our suit again. To upgrade our suit stuff. Um, hell yeah, man. Um, transducer... Oh, okay, so it's either we have more energy or longer duration and kinesis damage, which we rarely use, so I think we should just increase number of shots in our stasis, there you go. Maxed out, baby. May as well just max this out while we're here, it's only scrap metal. <laughs> and hopefully there'll be some uh, situation where we actually need increased air, but it really seems like it's more like only for that first section of the game, which is in space, and then you have a point of no return, which the game doesn't really openly communicate, because we missed we missed some stuff in space, unfortunately, um, before we came down to the planet, but it is, it is what it is. Let's go! Oh, this is just the central hole. Okay. Oh, not these things again. Not these things again. This is... Every time I come up against one that was in a previous game, I'm like, this could have stayed behind. We didn't need this. <laughs> I am, like, I'm convinced that the only reason these mon these ones exist is purely to slow down your progress. It's purely to slow you down. It doesn't want you going through the game too fast through these hallways, so you need to just watch. It's more of a watch your step simulator. There's nasty growth everywhere in here. It's blocking some of the doorways. Is it organic? It says here there's a sterilization system that can destroy organic matter in case of a containment breach. I'll check it out. Sounds good to me. Oh no, it's like this shit. Ah, oh, okay. Naturally, gas pump offline. So never mind then. Oh, let me just go turn on the gas pump. Love the look of these doors. I know it's like a simple thing, but it's like new looking, uh, new looking environments is always appreciated instead of like reusing the same shit in a whole bunch of uh, different places. It's a really cool. It's a neat looking door design. I like it. Appreciate it. We got another text log. It's been a little while. Let's have a look. In the event of containment failure, sterilization gas must be administered from the nearest sterilization booth. These airtight chambers will protect you from the highly corrosive sterilization gas. All unprotected biological tissue in the affected area will be disintegrated. It is important that the sterilization gas mixing station be maintained at all times. Your safety and the safety of those around you depend on it. Well, we, we, we saw how that went. Let's go down to the pump room. Get this gas going. The best part about this sniper is like... You don't even have to worry about limbs. Just you don't even have to worry about limbs, dude. Shoot it in the chest. Lift disabled. 
Ah, oh, well, um... Oh, that shit comes up. Oh, they're, they're bigger now. <laughs> yeah, so that's our new end. That's our new kind of dude. Big boys. Alright. Love a nicely maintained pump room. Hell yeah, dude. Looking, looking clean, looking fresh. Looking gassy. Now let's vent this gas. Destroy this organic growth. Hey, getting legless. Bing bong. Initiating sterilization sequence. Mmm. Mm-mm-mm. Now what's it, baby? Wow. Wow. This is what your, uh, this is what your bowels look like off the top of your baby. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> nice. All clean. All clean. Nice. Alright, uh, well, it wants us to go in that room, so... Just looking around first. I'm gonna go... I wanna see what this is all about. Paleontology access, okay. What's our objective? What are we tracking at the moment, then? Ah, oh, two objectives in each. Right. Alright, so we'll eventually come back in here to go through paleontology. Alright, so we should stay here for biology first. We'll complete the biology-related objectives. And then we can move on to the next ones. That looks good. Checks out. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah, that looks great. Um, neuroimaging. Yeah, awesome. I like it, Picasso. Dr. Earl Serrano, status update. I now realize why the alien machine was rejecting our codex. The instructions were being garbled by the second set of DNA. The aberration. We found a new specimen today. A pure an intact specimen. Its DNA is completely pristine, and I have high hopes that this is the breakthrough we were looking for. So Serrano was studying this Rosetta then, I think. Down you go, buddy. So I guess instead of the little beepy noises that it makes, it would be like, fuck you, have a nice day. Oh no. I he I know that voice anywhere. Oh, this is the feeding thing. Uh, that's the the feeding tube when we get this thing. Alright, gotcha. Hell yeah, dude. These enemies really have like a habit of showing up at the most inconvenient moments. Oh, 
Well, there's just something about chopping them in half that's like... Ugh. Something super satisfying about them just getting sh straight chopped in half that I just love. Alright, you guys good? You gonna settle down now, please, so I can get on with my life? Get in there. Get in there. I found another piece of Rosetta. I'm sending it your way. Which, um, which piece is it? Well, it's hard to tell from the cross section, but it doesn't look like anything I recognize. Okay, I'll get it prepped when it arrives. Okay. Wonderful. Sounds good. So, paleontology and geology look to be the next, uh, the next destinations for these lovely, lovely pieces of Rosetta that we can assemble. Um, I think... I think with that one, guys, because it's going to ask us to go to paleontology now, I guess, uh, this is a good moment as of any for us to uh, bring this episode of Dead Space 3 to a close. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, some more chaos unfold and some very silly tropes happening. Uh, but there is some cool stuff happening in uh, this area of the, of the game. So I'm very curious to see what's going to happen when we've fully assembled this uh, Rosetta creature. Um... Who knows? It's going to be, it's very interesting, but I can't wait to see how this one's going to wrap up. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.